but just because it's my job to represent the viewpoint of consumers. Yeah. Um, if I had to ask everyone in this room right now which brand of elevator you took to get to this floor, like none of you would know if it was like an Otis lift or a, a Schindler's elevator. Corner. Uh, oh, what? Corner. Or a corner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that a brand of elevator? Um, because you don't care. Like we don't, we don't, Maybe one person would know. <laughs> we don't work in the elevation industry. Like if I had to ask you right now, when you're checking your emails, is it coming to you from Wi-Fi? Is it coming to you from 4G, 4G LTE, 3G? You don't give a shit. Like all you care about is the fact you're getting your emails and you're seeing pictures on Instagram. So our entire industry of TV is obsessed with how things that people love get to them. And normal people don't think like that. Like, I speak about the future of TV, I write about the future of TV, I have no idea how the TV that I watch gets to me. I don't know what SVOD is, I don't know what OTT is, I don't care. I don't care about TV channels either. Like, we have an entire system that's based on thinking from the 1950s and radio, where notions like what time things were on mattered, where notions like what TV station brought you that show mattered, People don't think like that anymore. People want to watch Breaking Bad, and they really like it, and they want to watch it wherever they are, on the screen that they have with them. And all of this complexity that we talk about, and all of this mechanical back work that we think about, it has no meaning to customers. So we will live in a world where people will watch more TV than ever, they will watch it for longer than ever, they will watch it in more places more often than ever before. So the world of making great quality content is more abundant than you can ever imagine. Um, they will just so, do so on their own terms, and sometimes people think of it as video, sometimes people think of it as TV, sometimes people think of it as movies, but none of those distinctions really matter. Um, an episode of the OC may now be one hour and 57 minutes long. Does that mean it's a movie? We don't know. Um, if a TV show becomes 15 minutes long, does that suddenly become video because it's short? Like we can't even define the characteristic that makes video TV or TV video. So more than anything else, um, what I'm saying right now is we need to get out of our own heads and the things that we talk about all the time and instead think about the things that matter to people. And when we are in a world where people are watching more TV and more video on more intimate screens than ever, with more personal data than ever, with more interactive possibilities than ever, that's a really good market to be in. So every time we talk about the death of TV, and every time we talk about the fact that you know, young people aren't watching it anymore, like we're kind of misdirecting ourselves in the wrong places. Because actually the fact that we live in this environment where shows can come from nowhere, can be made by anyone, and can thrive as abundantly as something like HQ Trivia has, it means we're in a great sector. Um, so I would like to think that as an industry we can start thinking about people more, maybe a little bit more about advertisers as well, but mainly on people. Fantastic segue. Well, that's all right. Yeah, that, that's good.